Hi guys. I did a video earlier on where I was playing around with one of these rubber band powered helicopters designed by Science Toymaker or Slater Harrison. These are the prints showing me how to make them. Now on his video he said that cheap rubber bands were a waste of time and he's right. He also said that it wasn't worth trying to take the rubber out of these bungee cords. He said they were slightly better than the cheap rubber bands, but they weren't as good as the proper hobby grade uh, rubber, or well, hobby grade rubber. Well, I haven't got any hobby grade rubber, but I do have some of these bungee cords. These are actually very old, and when I say very old, I think they're probably 20 years old. They're certainly over 10 years old. So I've got nothing to lose cutting one up and just having a look inside. And that's what I'm going to do. I've just sliced the end off. I don't know if we can see it in this camera at this position. But it is full of lots of very thin pieces of rubber. And pulling that like that, I can see these are probably well past their sell-by date, because they're breaking straight away. But I'll get some out anyway, so we can have a look at them. The other thing I was thinking of was trying to find an old golf ball and taking that apart, because I know many of them are made up with thin rubber wrapped round and round. Well... I don't think there's much point in going much further with this. I've just pulled some of it out and as I'm pulling it you can see it's just falling apart. So um, yeah that's a waste of time but that's because these are really old so I'll see if I can find a new one in Poundland or somewhere like that and take that apart and see if that's any good. Continuing to look at the suitability of the rubber inside bungee cords for rubber band powered planes or cars for that matter. Had a look in Pound Land and Pound World, couldn't find any bungee cords in Pound Land. In Pound World, they had three different types, and I'll put a little uh, video up that I took with my mobile phone trying to look at them. They had quite large or quite thick sectioned rubber inside them, square section, and it looked particularly big. So not suitable for what I want to do with this one. Might work for rubber band powered car. And then the third type they'd got were these ones that I couldn't quite see what the rubber was like inside. So I thought I might as well buy one anyway and take it apart. I looked in a couple of other places. Um, in a hardware store and they were much more expensive so probably better quality but I'm trying to do it on the cheap if it starts getting expensive then you might as well buy the proper hobby grade rubber online so this is only to see if we can do it on the cheap Right, that looks like the sort of stuff I want. Fairly thin. Yeah, that looks like that was a good guess. I'll see if I can do a close-up. That looks like it's about a millimetre cross section, slightly flattened depending on which piece you look at. So I'll see if I can get some of that out and we'll give it a try. Now remember this is inspired by Science Toymaker and he actually decided this wasn't a good idea that the benefit, well there wasn't much benefit. It was slightly better than cheap rubber bands but nothing like as good as proper hobby grade. So I just thought I'd see what it was like myself. 
to actually get the rubber out of the bungee I'm having to cut the um, nylon I think this is all the way along now obviously that's damaging the outer layer of rubber I'm working on the assumption that there should still be enough left there that we can use well I've tried a selection of different tools small scissors I uh, can't remember what this is called, but it's for unpicking stitches in clothing. Uh, some pointy things, they were useless. But I ended up going back to the knife blade. Needed to be the sharpest one I could find, which is why there's quite a few laying around. Quite a few strands get damaged if they're on the outside. But I'm just hoping that I'll have some good ones left in the middle. I think we'll need to lubricate them a bit before we try using them. We've got some of the rubber from the bungee here. It's not very good. In fact, this is probably the tenth attempt. and It breaks very easily. But uh, we'll just give it a try. It's working, but probably not worth the effort, which is what Slater says in his video. If I try and put the extra turns on it, then it snaps. That's pretty tight there. Last go. There we go. So, exactly what he said buy some decent rubber. <laughs> Just for comparison guys, I've gone back to the rubber bands I was using before. So I was better off with my original rubber bands than I was with the bungee rubber. <laughs> 